Max or Maximilian Dude, as many have seen online, and I'm here playing Soul Calibur 6, the near release version of the game, it looks like, and we are messing around a whole bunch with the character creator, seeing what it can do, what we can make, and what we're going to be able to get away with on launch day. So my character is absolutely original 1000% and not from any other piece of fiction, so I really wanted to highlight some very specific gothic details on top of the character. Her name is Lady M. Uh, this character is very regal, she's very undead, and I tried to get as much detail in her costume as possible to see how much we can push the character customization. I did like the customization options, especially the patterns and the stickers and the different options you can put on top of the armor. So when you actually choose which gear your character has, you can go a bit deeper and choose the specific details on top of the armor. Uh, this character likes to hunt at night and uses blood in many ways, uh, including her combat, and I wanted to try to show that in her weapon effects. There's a very uh, violent weapon effect that you can kind of have in the game where most of the sword weapon abilities are actually covered in red instead of the usual blue or greens or sort of purples you see in the game normally. So Lady M has had a pretty dark backstory. Uh, she is dead, she is a corpse, and she is still finding her way to fight all the way into the afterlife. And if she's able to make it through the Soul Calibur tournament, her redemption could possibly be found. Soul Calibur 6 has come through a really interesting uh, growth period, especially since it was first shown, and now we are within like a week or so about the game's release. And it's interesting to see how the character movement has grown, how the reversal edge system, how meter build, and everything like that has sort of evolved, because we got to put it all into practice in the online mode of the game, which was during the beta. And I'm happy to say that it seems to have come together rather well, especially in the comparison of previous Soul Calibur games and the speed of some ones that a lot of fans kind of remember. That is wonderfully preserved in Soul Calibur 6, which is what I really appreciate. And uh, you definitely notice that, especially when you start moving the characters around, their mobility, their speed, and the different types of moves you get within Soul Charge. I love that mechanic, that you get a bunch of different extra stuff and you have to make the conscious choice do I use meter on this or do I do a big super? Um, I can't wait to figure out those game plans online. Definitely will be playing a lot of Soul Calibur on my streams and my YouTube channel when it does come out. I've been looking forward to this game uh, ever since pretty much Soul Calibur 5 and a lot of characters coming back has me very excited too. Lady M will make a return as well as several other creative characters that I'm planning on making and uh, some ones that have been making returns from the past. So uh, you better believe, outside of just training mode, yeah, there's going to be a lot of character customization sessions and streams that'll be going through.